Hello, it's Miss Gromberg here, and today we're going to learn a new strategy when you're studying your sight words. So this is probably for grade two and up, but of course everyone learns their sight words at a different pace. So if you're reading words like this, it doesn't really matter what grade you're in, but this is a struggle to read at, they, was, can you read that one, I'm just checking you okay so if that was challenging then go and uh, listen to the first video this one will be because this is the next level up so i'm looking at the fry words for the second hundred word words and the third hundred words so i picked a bit of both and the first word i have is field so now oh those are from the 300 it's okay um it's mixed up but that's fine so this is one of the third hundred words. So field, I can, if I was struggling with the, the middle sound, field, I would just um, underline it and put long E sound for field to help me. And this card's going to help me um, so I can be independent while I'm reading my sight words. So you could have an adult help you with this because if you can't read the word, then what will you do? <laughs> well, I mean, you could go on the computer and type it in and then with an adult's permission, and then it will say the word for you if you're not sure what it says. So that's an option. Um, but I do recommend doing this with an adult because this is the part where we need a little bit more support to get to that next level. So now what I would do though, so I have one word, I'll focus on one word for now. Then I'm going to practice writing it on different types of material. So I have a few different things. So I'm going to write field. F-I-E-L-D, correct letter formation is important. So I will put in the link below um, correct letter formation, and I'll also put in the link for the Fry sight words that you can use uh, to study. If your teacher gives you different sight words, use those. Uh, this is more just so you know what you can do. So field F-I-E-L-D, field, write it on a different surface, F, I E L D. I want something even softer than that. Come on over here, Jackie. Oh, dear. Get there out of my tummy. Yes, I am. F I E L D. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> oh, poor Jackie. I'm sorry, but thanks for helping me. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I'm just watching it behind. Yeah, that's fine. You can still watch. That's nice. To see you. Jackie's always with me. So, um, so I wrote field and on different surfaces. You can write it really big in the air, F-I-E-L-D, okay? Focus on correct letter formation. So I will do that a few times, and then a memorization tip is to go do something else and then come back to the word F-I-E-L-D. It's a five-letter word. I might put it to the tune of bingo. Um, F-I-E-L-D, F-I-E-L-D, F-I-E-L-D. There you go. So you can put it to a song to help you remember. Uh, another thing I might do, or one thing you definitely should do, is make sure these words make sense. So if I don't know what the word field means, we're going to want to figure that out. Okay, so I might play soccer in a field, right? So at school we have a great, we have um, two different large fields that you can play on, which is great, right? There's both with intermediates and then primary kids. But there are two great big fields to play on. So that's what field means. If I didn't know what it meant, I definitely want to look it up because of course, um, the most important thing is meaning always. Now the next word I have is here. I know Q U says qua, qua, st, it uns. Okay, this part's tricky, so I might get help here. Quesh, the S and T together, it's making a sh sound, which is interesting, okay? So I'm going to write sh, questions questions, tons, tons, it sounds like tons. Okay, so I'm writing, um, so, so I can look up here, so I can read it by myself, because I know how to sound outwards, right? So I'm using the tools I do know to read my sight words, question, tons, questions, and I put it together quickly. I'm going to go through these fairly fast, I have a few. <laughs> together, to, so if I had, so one thing that kids do sometimes is to get her, Oh, it's not, we're not, anyways, <laughs> we're not out to get hurt. Um, so together, the, I'm going to underline the word the. When you see the, often the TH makes that th sound. Th. So you stick your tongue in between your teeth and say 
air comes out together and then it's just er er together i'm not reading the so once again i'm just going to highlight the th i might look at the to help me remember what the sound is so we've got together we've got this word in um, this is hard okay so let's get help from an adult maybe jackie can help me today okay i'm gonna help you e it's a long e sound so you draw a little long line okay i draw i drew a long line over the e na na okay so it's na and then f, f. okay okay thanks jackie that's um enough so i made a long e sound line over the e so i know it's a long e sound na na and then f. enough the gh is saying f. so e na f. that's my whole word enough uh, for this word it's high so i might just do i long i and that's the whole sound so it's just i hi um this one if i was reading it as nam i'm going to just highlight the a and the e to remember that the e is making the a say a instead of a name um here the th is not making the sound like th, like in the word the it's making a sound so like that i put my tongue in the between my teeth for i do the same pressing down harder and then it, yeah so similar to the you'll have to practice play around if it's hard just go back and forth well it's pick one but then once you're kind of getting it go back and forth for things and like some and like the them um so things i might draw a thumb to remember it's a th sound so pictures help too so things and then ings is ing is going to be something you want to memorize now what i find often is while we're reading we forget that last sound so someone might read this as thing done that last sound is very important so if i forget it i'm going to highlight it anything that's highlighted it means i want it to stand out it might be something I often make a uh, mistake in while I'm reading. And that's fine. It's good when you figure out what the mistake is so that you can fix it, right? So we're learning um, how to read the word correctly and paying attention to everything we need to pay attention to, especially uh, that ending, well, beginning and ending sounds. Okay, middle sounds too, of course. Ah, pay attention to the whole thing. But when we're beginning to read, we start with the beginning sounds and then the ending sounds and then the middle it typically would be the order okay so let's do fall low fall sounds like sorry fall sounds like fall not fall so it sounds more like fall and then ow makes an o sound follow and i have one more sentence sen tense sen ten I'm just going to underline that. And actually, I'm going to put the number 10 on top, sentence, and then an S. So you're going to make it in whatever way is going to help you remember how to read the word. If these strategies aren't helpful, then there's no point in doing it. What you want to do is think of something that is meaningful to you. This is what's mean meaningful to me. That's why I am um, writing it like that. Okay. So now I'm going to practice once you have done that. I picked actually more words than what I would do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I picked quite a few words. I was saying earlier that typically seven would be the number. So no more than seven new sight words at a time. Because like phone numbers, there are seven digits, except now we have 604, 778, right? We have different, uh, but that's typically the same. That's really easy to remember. So phone numbers are seven digits because that's how many pieces of information that we can remember. They want us to be able to memorize phone numbers. I know nowadays it's not as important because we have it, your adult has it on their cell phone and you just hit the number. But before we'd always have to dial phone numbers. And so that's why it's seven digits. So we can remember and we can call people and not have to always look up their phone number. So that's an important thing for adults, seven pieces of information could be for everyone. But, if, um, but for younger kids, so depending on how old you are, 
I would probably pick three um, if we're at this level. For if, but if you're ever really struggling on something, I just pick one thing, work on that one skill. So like in basketball, if you're going to do a layup and you don't know how to dribble, you have to start with, you have to learn how to dribble first before you can do the layup. Then once you can do that, I would work on my feet work, left, right, left, right. Okay, that's where I wanna be, that's where I wanna stop to hit, um, to take the basket. And then what I would do is just stand under the basket, where do I want to end for my layup and just practice taking those shots. And then I'm gonna try to put those steps all together and it probably won't look pretty at first, um, but it just takes lots of repetition. But what we're doing is breaking up skills into smaller parts. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> I digress. So let's just read the words as they are here. Sentence, sentence. Fallow, oh, I don't like that, follow. Why did I write fallow? Ah, that's why we need a proofread. Fall, fall, oh yeah, fall. Yeah, you would say fall. That's right, fall. So I might draw a picture of someone falling down. Fall. I don't know why I was reading fall. Follow, okay, follow. And then we've got my thumb to remember TH says. So things, S is highlighted so I don't forget it. Name, name, that E helps me remember that the A says A. I, hi, I've got that symbol means long I, long I sound. Then we've got E, long E, enough. If I didn't know what that symbol was or if I find that com confusing, uh, what could you do? You could do something else that will help you, like something that starts with an E, like an Easter egg, Easter E. Okay, that might be more helpful if these symbols aren't helpful. So once again, you want your, you want your um, cues here to help you remember how to read the word. So maybe Easter egg, as a reminder, it's a long E sound. E, enough. Then I have two, get, oh, there's a the, so two, and then I just highlighted under the TH, so together, together. Questions, oh, I might need to highlight that S at the end because I might leave it out. If I did, if I just said question, then definitely highlight the S. If you always remember to read the whole word, then you don't need to worry about it. So questions, like more than one, it's plural. And then we have fields. So I'm gonna practice these words, and actually I probably would take a few out and just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just keep seven and practice those words. Once I have uh, most of them, or once I have, yeah, then I can add new sight words to the pile. So, but I'm not done. I don't wanna, I, I'm not always going to have these symbols with me. So what I would do is once I'm fairly confident in reading with, with the help, I'm going to have an, um, the sight words on a different card and just read them without any help. So fields, questions, together, hi, name, make sure you can see, um, <laughs> nothing, sentence, things, follow, that's in, follow. Okay, so that is that for today. So that's a tip that you can use, or a couple tips you can use while you're practicing your sight words. And of course, you can always play sight word games and have fun with them too. And that was in a different video. So I'll put some links down below with the fry words and then the correct letter formation that's important, okay, to write your letters and your words using the correct letter formation. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye.